Hi! So, it's time for another Reckless Journal episode. I do have a few quick things to show you. Pages that I finished off camera. This page, um, I did something really simple. It was just to tie a string to the journal and take a walk and drag it. So I just drew this little boy doing that and a little puppy following him. And then one other thing. You saw me do this page and I just added this little drawing of a little bird with um, black pencil just to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, let's move on to the new pages. Starting here, page 41, the instructions are tear out crumple. And I will do that as soon as I finish decorating this page. page and it is this page and it says use this as a test page for pens paints markers or art supplies I'm gonna go ahead and do this now Okay, and the next one is this one. Doodle over top of the cover, the title page, the instructions, the copyright page. Fold down the corners of your favorite pages. I won't do that until I'm done with the book because I haven't done all of them, so I don't know which ones are my favorites yet. But I will try to do all of these today. I haven't done anything to the cover or these pages. They're just completely blank. Let's get started on that. And the next one says, trace your hand. And that sounds pretty daggone easy, so I'm going to do it now. Okay, uh, slide the journal, this page face down, down a long hallway. Hmm. Um, cover this page in tape, create some sort of pattern.
Okay, so let's do a quick recap. So I started with page 41, which is Tear Out Crumple, and I drew these kind of rainbowy uh, flowers that I came up with. And then since it's torn out of the book, I am just going to store it in my handy dandy pocket. Next I did this page which was test page for art supplies and I did some of my art supplies on here and then I added this little ripped out piece of notebook paper with a girl freaking out while taking a test, you know, because it's the test page. So haha, <laughs> this is how I feel sometimes when I take tests. So anyway, and then I just painted a black border just to kind of bring it all together. I really enjoyed doing this part because I didn't care what it looked like, I just wanted to like layer on color and make it look really chaotic. And I started this page but I didn't get through all of them so I still have the cover to do and another one. Um, I'll probably pick up with this next episode and do those on camera next episode. Um, and then I also have to decorate this page too and I might do that on camera, I don't know, we'll see how it goes next episode. But I did do the title page. Um, the title page I did like rainbow uh, tie-dye looking thing, and then the inside cover I wrote, to create is to destroy, and then the Y balloon is kind of like popped and destroyed because you know, I had to add some destruction in there. Hopefully you don't get tired of looking at colorful and rainbow and that kind of stuff because I do quite a lot of that. And I also did the copyright and the warning page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did this because I used to just like fill up notebooks with this crap. I would just like draw weird random shapes and designs and nothing representational whatsoever because I had decided that I sucked at that. So I just did like random shapes and very colorful designs and I did that a lot for a while. And this is kind of like my remembrance piece to that, what I used to do, so. I don't know. And then I did this one, Trace Your Hand. It does just say hand, it doesn't say hands. I just realized that. But I did my hands, so what now? I was trying to figure out how to position them on the page and then I just decided to make a little heart. So I filled in the heart shape with pink and it's kind of a deformed heart, but it's supposed to be a heart, okay? That's what it's supposed to be, okay. And then I filled up the hands with black and white patterns like crazy. And I did this one. So freaking interesting to look at, right? No, I'll probably decorate this off camera somehow. I'm not sure how yet, but I can't leave it like this. I mean, come on, that's ugly. And then this page. I bought this tape somewhere, I, I forget, somewhere cheap. And I thought it was duct tape because it was labeled duct tape and it was in the, like the package and everything. But it's actually like this really thin tape and it's like you can see through it. Which was kind of annoying at first but then I realized hey I might be able to do something with that. So I put color underneath so that you can see the color under the zebra pattern. I kind of like it. It's kind of rocking. Kind of rocking. Okay so that's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Hopefully soon. Okay? Okay. Bye! You don't just try like a normal bye. Bye!